Hello YouTube, here I am again, another video, ATF here. If, first off, you can hear my voice echoing, it's because I am in the uh, kitchen. I wanted a different background for a di couple different videos, so I came here to the kitchen. This is like the island, you know, in the kitchen. And today this video, or this night, um, is going to be a video of what I bought from countycom.com. And if you're wondering where you have heard County Calm, uh, you if you watch Cutlery Lover, Mr. Jeff, he uh, he talks about County Calm quite a lot. Uh, he gets different stuff from there, and uh, he you know talks about it. So I thought, what the hell is this place? So I went to CountyCom.com, checked it out. Uh, there are no knives there. However, there's a lot of cool stuff, including paracord for those you know survival freaks and you know, kind of, not freaks, but, you know, those nerdy people, kind of like myself. So, I'm going to show you what I got. It's all over here off the side of the camera. I'm going to bring it in one by one, show you what I got. Alright? So, first off, paracord. Paracord. 100 feet of, this is called ACU Gray, which stands for Army Camouflage Uniform. 100 feet of that. And, uh, $7. Pretty darn good. And it's paracord with the you know seven strands inside, so it's darn good stuff. And along with the gray, I didn't quite like black. I don't know why. I just didn't want to get it, so I got gray. I like gray. I got a flashy orange. They call international orange. And uh, this is good if you want something to stand out a little bit. And uh, you know you may have it in a pack. And it may be hard to find. This obviously will flash, so it'll be easier to find. I'm gonna put these at the top of the screen to save some room. Perfect. Uh, now, along with the or not the uh, lanyard, the um, paracord, we or I we I got some of these what are called cord ends. What they look like? Well, let me show you look like this right here on a lanyard now I will review what's on here in a second because I'm not quite done with the paracord but uh... they look like little fit let me show you this my griptilian from which I've had for a while I put a little thing on there lanyard it's a little small you know the ones you put your pinky through it's a little small I may have to redo it um, but it's, you know, nice. You know, see how the gray... If you were to put black, I think that would be a little too much black. Um, you know, have an emo knife or something. But uh, I think it looks pretty nice like that. And again, I just have it in my sheath here. I showed you before. Just have it dangling out a little bit. And what did I say? Yeah, paracord. So, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'll go over this tool now. This is called the Kershaw T-Tool. This is what the little lanyard was on. Kershaw, let me show you that. Kershaw. As in, you know, Kershaw, Scallion, and, you know, Kent Onion, you know, company. This is that company. And I uh, just put a little orange lanyard on it. Like I said before, uh, it would be easier to find. And this being, you know, black. They are in my drawer with or with all my knives. Be easier to find with a uh, nice bright orange uh, little lanyard thing with my cord or a cord end. So it's very nice. And I did a little bit of surgery on my griptilian. Um, there's a little side to side play that is you know unknown in a lot of uh, bench maids. But there was a tad, so I tightened it up, and uh, there's now none at all. So. Now, I have a lot of other things here I'm getting out on the side that you can't see, but I will go over, I'll go over this first. These are what are called, um, oh, I just forgot the name, I can't remember, but they're little flashlights. This one is a dollar, yes, yeah, surprisingly one dollar. Um, this is obviously the kitchen. It's well lit, so it's kind of you know bright in here, but still you can see how bright that is. 
Uh, pretty darn bright. Great for, well, on my keychain, as you can see. Not too big. Can you even see where it is? Yeah, it's, it's very, very tiny. Oh, I'll turn that off. Very small. And uh, pretty darn cool. Along with that one, I got a red one. So, you know, for the uh, retaining night vision kind of thing. And with some just, you know, this thing, black, was, uh, was uh, originally on the T-Tool. And this little chain was on what I'm going to show you right now, which they call the peanut lighter, which is this little guy right here. This, yes, is a lighter. It looks like a pill case, but which it could be used for that. And it is a little lighter. Pretty darn cool, huh? Uh, if you're wondering how much this will cost you, uh, I believe it's $5. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any fluid in here right now, or it didn't come with any, so I got to go get some of that and uh, make this little guy work. But it is darn small. I mean, compared to my thumb, which I may have a little fatter of a thumb than usual, uh, usual people, <laughs> that is, um, it's, yeah, it's darn small. You could hide it under my thumb. Compared to, I have here a... Zippo. Look how small that is. Both chrome, obviously. Oh, it's all fingerprint. Let me wipe it off. Uh, it didn't do so much. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Hey, there I am. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> There's camera. Yeah, it's pretty darn small. However, if you want a more realistic lighter, go for the Zippo. Because it's just more reliable. Easier to open, obviously. And you don't have to, you know, twist it off. So there's those. And I will go over this. This is a beanie, which is called, which they call a watch cap. And this, this is so awesome because this is made in the USA. Acrylic. It's like really heck of squishy. And the cool thing is about it, you can buy one for $3.50. No lie. No lie at all. Three dollars and fifty cents. This thing fits. I got a pretty big head actually, because I got a big brain. No, not really. Yeah, uh, but it feels really good, surprisingly. And uh, I know it may look small. You know, my hand is right there. I mean, it could easily go over anyone's head from the ages of, I would say, four years old to literally forty years old. I mean, it could fit everybody. Um, comes in, this is also uh, ACU gray, same as the paracord. Uh, I didn't want to get black because I have uh, two cats, one of them all white, and so all that white hair would uh, obviously be all over it and easy to see, so didn't want to do it. Let's put the right there. Last but not least, this is called the iPhone case because it is a case for the iPhone. If you saw my EDC video, you know that I do have one, a 3G uh, white one. And this is a big old case. Well, let's put that back in there. It's actually pretty wide. You probably stick some like cash in there if you wanted to. Um, it's pretty cool. It's If you're like an airsoft or anything, and you just want a big old case for your phone, you know, to put on something, this would be a good one. Pretty cool. Pretty nice looks kind of you know tactical um, it has a uh, I only got it like a minute left to film so for those of you who are watching don't leave now um, it has vertical you can carry it or I'm sorry horizontal you can carry it vertical right through there cool thing is about it, it has this little front pouch and you can put like money in it this is just a folded up index card so there you have it uh, YouTube that is my county com stuff I bought, I don't know, just after Christmas, uh, and so it's about a week old or so. But uh, thank you for watching. Hope you uh, go look up county com. They have some awesome stuff.